Hey guys, welcome to another day with Zamalara. Uh, in today's video, I would like to explain to you guys why do you have problems with the lights on your dash on ESP, ABS, and anti-slip regulator. Why are those lights on? And it actually has to do with a brake light switch. Let me show you exactly what it looks like, where it's located. Let me just tell you why it's important to actually replace those. Uh, because if those lights are on, your cruise control lever is no longer working. So it means you cannot be driving at cruise control um, until next time you shut your van off, shut, you know, cut it back on, it's going to be working. Uh, sometimes you could do it while driving, uh, like on a highway or something. Uh, you know stay safe doing it but there's nothing wrong with doing that I do it all the time and sometimes if you just do one notch turn it off turn it on those lights will disappear and then you could regain the control of your uh, cruise control so the purpose of me making this video is to actually help you with two things with those lights on the dash and why is your cruise control not working that's the way to get it back working now guys if your lights will be off and your cruise control is not gonna be working then it's gonna be something else but let me tell you this I already have 1 million 150,000 miles and my, my cruise control still works so technically I don't I really don't see any other reason why it should fail uh, if it would fail for me uh, then at least I would know what it is but I haven't had to deal with anything else besides this little problem here so I already recorded this little video for you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the clips and just uh, continue watching and by the end of this video you're gonna know exactly what's going on also another thing I do want to mention this video if you see it today it's actually been uploaded today I'm starting to upload regularly daily content I'm recording it basically while I'm driving so you know and thanks to Starbucks I actually just pulled up on the Starbucks location I could actually upload these videos kind of quick to you and you know get them out there and help you guys out uh, please make sure leave a like and please subscribe help my channel out you know that way um, and please watch my videos today and it's really gonna help you guys thank you so much uh, enjoy the video so as I would be like basically stopped at a light somewhere or in traffic and pressing down the brake I noticed immediately those lights will come on if that that uh, brake light switch is bad it's actually located um under the steering wheel i've been also uh, asked to make a video on that so i'm just kind of basically throwing everything in one video i'm just going to show you guys where it is i'm not going to remove it it is quite difficult to remove it as to where it's located and you kind of see like what i'm talking about but it's still easy to remove it like in a way i know it's like kind of like so it seems like misinforming but I mean it's within a, within a hand reach and you pretty much gonna have to do a whole job using your just like one hand and that's when it becomes different that really awkward type of shape the way it's in there but you have to kind of like press down and hold uh, the the little like uh, I'm just gonna call it a button there to release it and you'll need to squeeze it to forward and twist it basically to remove it that's how you do it so let me show okay, you okay basically going. guys you see that little white thing in the middle that little white piece and the brake lever is uh, basically pushing on it it is very hard to get the camera down in there to try to make a video because i'm shooting with my phone you really need a tiny camera to really go in there but that little white piece that's what it is and you need to kind of make it at the back of that little uh metal piece that's in the at the, that's kind of like in the middle to try to basically twist it out of there you can still see it the white piece uh, sticking out over there so there's the brake okay, guys this is the brake light switch here and it kind of sits like this um, I guess this being kind of like towards the bottom over here to where you could like you know squeeze it or, or at the top I can't re remember exactly uh, but either way that doesn't really even uh, make any difference I have removed this uh, brake light switch uh, when I was home and I was not able to make a video because as you could see it's a very difficult spot um, you know I would have to have like help with somebody recording it and a camera small enough to really fit underneath the only thing I have small enough is a GoPro and even with that it's going to be very difficult plus it's uh, it's bad enough uh, to be like one person try to remove it but you know because you're gonna be taking up the whole floor space just kind of like reaching in there and then to have another person actually recording so it's still quite difficult I didn't figure out you know how to actually remove it but looks like that's the part number right there um, this is the one I actually replaced in my sprinter it probably still works like it's not broken but when this uh, brake light switch uh, malfunctions that's when you get the ESP um, ABS and uh, anti-slip regulator lights on and of course ABS lights on and everything so that's this is the piece that controls it 
So now you have a rough idea kind of like what it looks like and this is the tab you're gonna need to push down on as you squeezing it forward and twisting it out of place because that's you know how it needs to come out so it's these little tabs once they clear the metal piece they lock in so this is why you're gonna need to push forward and twist them out and then you pull, pull the unit out so I think that's already quite self-explanatory um, just like I did guys that should help you already